back. It is, uh, okay, friends, just a quick, hey, just a minute, let's make sure, see? Friends, welcome back. This is just video, footage of me doing what I do, but it's for someone in particular, this video. It's for everybody, but the people I've been thinking about right now are the folks that are in lockdown. Um, it's been a crazy year. It has been. It's been a little bit of a gnarly year. The sun is blazing in my, my house right now. As you know, the sun is lower in the winter, so it comes straight in our windows. And get your face into the sun when it comes out. We need that free vitamin D. But this is a, a video for, for all my friends that are in lockdown, uh, Australia, uh, wherever else. Um, and it's a little bit longer. I'm trying to put longer videos out right now at this time for folks. So it's not all crash and smash them. We can't do tree work right now. We got a freaking foot of snow on the ground. Trees are clear, but it's tough getting around in some spots. So we're just, we're not in a panic to do that. So we'll be back at that shortly. I'm dying to do some more videos on that 500i, to be honest with you. <laughs> friends, enjoy the video. To all my friends in Australia and all over the place, New Zealand and wherever there's lockdown, this is for you today. Over and out. We gotta get this thing square here. This is pretty much packed snow now. So. I shoveled it right before bed. Got the fire cooking. That's good enough. I like to take big amounts away from the house so that when it melts, friends, it doesn't, all that water doesn't go melting down in. Like this here, you see? This will go melting all down in. If I don't just take a couple seconds and just shoot it out of here. There. I've been shoveling so much snow in the last few days. The first batch was light. That's why I'm looking for a tractor. An old 50s tractor. So I can just get on it and go, friends. You see what I mean? So I like to keep our a couple trails to the woodshed a trail to the woodshed and to the wheelbarrow to the house because who knows what's going to happen here i got my wood stove cranking 
in the bunker. Yeah, she's roaring. That's good. All right. That'll keep it off the house. <laughs> well, it don't matter how much snow you got when you're prepared. That's why, friends, listen, this is a message to all men, women, and children out there. Right now, this is it. I, I ran, I fed my family on a firewood business years ago, and when I realized... What I realized is that people were sitting around, sitting around waiting for the firewood ferry to show up. To think that the firewood ferry's been sitting on all that firewood, you know, all year waiting. Okay, so the message, the message is farm your firewood all year. You're driving down the road, it's hot, it's summer, or, 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 or no, let's, let's, let's actually make it a little more straight, straight to you. It's winter, you've got all your wood in, right? You got your four or five or six cords in with, and, and you're set, you're set. And you're thinking... Am I ever glad I'm, no, don't think that. Think, I need four more cords and I should get them now because that way you're gonna be drifting into a season of nice dry wood, friends, for two years, right? So soon enough, the snow is gonna be falling down on this roof from the trees above it. You'll hear toof, toof, right? Friends, get ahead. Get ahead of the wood, farm wood all year round, especially in the winter, because that's when the sap's down and your seasoning time drops in half. It does. If you cut a tree down in June, June, July, it's soaked and full of sap and water and starches and all that. You can, And it's like, it's so heavy. You cut one down in the dead of winter, January, all the water's down and the starches and the sugars, everything's gone out of the tree. She's in dormancy, you see? So the seasoning time is cut right in half. If you cut wood down in December, January, you buck it, split it. Like, I mean, get it prepared, get, get it stacked and, and, and set up in your shed for wind throw and, and sun and seasoning all set up beautifully with a row between each row, a space for a mouse between each row. You'll burn that wood the following year. Friends, I meant that year, that same year. Like down in January, you'll be burning at that burn you season. You will. If you do it right, you will. Wind is important. Don't cover the sides of your wood up. Don't cover the sides of your wood up. Don't do it. It's not smart. Cover your tops. That's all. Wood sheds are for top. Keep. You see my wood shed? I'm going to show you something about this right now. So here we are. That's next year's. Or, or the year after, I'm not sure yet. We got wood we can get now. I've got a couple of good sources. I'm waiting for the snow to, to croak off. So there's a shed ready to be full. So right when it's empty, it gets full. We're working on this two cord right here right now. Beautifully dry fur. You guys saw me put it in there. This has not even been touched. So we'll burn through this for sure and probably start nibbling on this. By about that time, this will be full again. So we'll have four cord over there, maybe five, depending on how many rows I want to put in there. 
But here's the deal with my woodshed, friends. I want to show you this. Just bear with me a second. I'm going to lower you down on the camera. Here's the deal. Look at it. Here's how I stack my firewood. See this? I try and design it so that each, see that? Each row is stacked against the board. And then the wind, only one place I didn't get that here, and it was right here. See how it's not, you can see it's, I just, I lined up. It's just the way it lined up. There's one, there's one, there's one, and they're all like that. That's the only one, it just, it just worked out because of the length of my wood. The breeze now goes roaring right through there. Summer breeze! You know what I'm talking about. Look at this. We got gap. That's too big of a gap, mind you, that. I forget who stacked that. Doesn't matter. It's, uh, here we go. You see, an Arbutus and fir, friends. I mean, this wood, this Arbutus, I took some in. I may even take some in for the, for the bunker today. I'll find a couple of short ones. There's one right there. Oh, dear. You see that right there, friends? <laughs> this has 30 BTUs per unit. Per million, per cord, right there. Look at that stuff. That's that one I chopped down. That's That video is really popular right now, friends, if you haven't seen it. Logger chops tree down with an ax. Um, yeah, so this stuff's nuts. It's it's got, the, it's got 30 BTUs. Okay, hey, what's this? Hey, look at that. A short piece right there coming to the bunk. So I think I'll take this one. Um, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, there's my other wood hook. Coolio. Let's just take this one for now. Just because. I do want that guy too, though. And I can split him in the bunker. Let's go. Nice fur. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. So this is nice stuff. So so uh, I guess my point is, friends, is we got... Look at this. Look at... I would think 10 inches of snow. Yeah, yeah, and she's got, we got snow, we got snow. What happened to our fire? Oh, she's just settling in. Look at that, see, I, I played with the fire and then I changed the, uh, I changed the flame pattern. So let's take a look at what happened there. Oh, I see. I, I blocked off a. Uh... Look at that. Oh, I see what happened here. On the very. You got to have space between your woods, friends, or it's going to block off the, the flow. Here we go, right here. There's my problem right there. Take that out of there. Yeah, see, that's not even burning. There. You know what I mean by that, friends? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? How that happens? Now you've got space and air in there, friends. If you've got wood that's like this, if you just get, oh, we gotta get, we gotta get the water off you here, friends. If you've got wood like this stacked in there, like like right up against, and there's fire underneath, but you got this, you need that or this to get air and flow and happening. See, this is all it needed was to be rearranged. That's it. I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. See, now it's got air flow and it's rip roaring. It'll do the same when I shut the door. Might even do it more. Yes, indeed, there it goes. It's roaring now. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, so, yeah, you notice that, eh? We changed it. It was kind of funky. What's this mean? What does that mean, friends? What happens when we do that? I forget. Do you guys remember what happens? Like, I'm not sure whether you guys remember or not. Is, is this is this what happens? Sitting by the fire.
taste is sweet. We'll talk to you guys in a flash oleos. All right, friends. How are we doing, everybody? We're going to... Uh, actually, Trev was kind enough to let us... Remember this big drop where we fell the cedar out of the bucket there? He's got to look at the way he's got to look. We're cutting timber on a cold track. Beats the hell out of day rate. Something about that power saw. And the sand run through my veins. Oh, yeah. Him and his wife had just been gone. They're retired, and, and this is their property, and they love it here. And people ask me all the time, Buck and White, why do you leave a mess everywhere you go? And I say, these people, everybody that pretty much I work for, they want to do their own cleanup. It's something for them to do, friends. Here we go. We got some good splitting to happen here now. Yeah, okay, so Trev's got my uh, my wood bullet. Friend. So, friends, you, you know what this is, right? <laughs> these are the two... This is the actual butt cut of the tree. Stringy, like twiny Douglas fir. It's snotty. So we're just putting these axes to work on this for these couple, and then we'll move into some better stuff. But this uh, this partner of mine here, he's swinging. He's got a good swing. Anyway, we're testing some of these bullets. Yeah, so this, this actually, the reason that was doing that is because of the piece of wood, Trev. It, this, this is really stringy. Keep... Yeah, but this one sucked in a little bit better. Yes, it did. It sunk better, but still... This is a better splitter? Oh, well, we're going to find out. But I yeah. think you'll be better. I would peel peel the sides off now. Yeah, like yeah. that. Trap. Yeah. It'll eat them. Yeah. These, these, butt just... these buttresses are very stringy. Yeah, look at that, Trap. That's coming nice now. Actually, the one I would use is a, a Swedish axe. Ah. Uh -huh. Four and a half pounds. But I'm not sure even where I got it from. So actually, this one's not bad. Yeah, seems to be doing a good job. It's sharp. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> You'll notice when you get out of that. Exactly. Big rounds, eh? This thing works good. What's this thing all about? That thing does work nice, Trout. What? Do you, how does that bamboo feel in your hands? Fine. Yeah, good. Yeah, I've really been I'm honestly not a connoisseur of axes. No. And uh, I need something that will pop it because then I'm down there doing this all the time and I know that's not really good for me. No. This thing actually doesn't work that bad. Give this a shot, Trev. Look at this thing, friends. This got sent to me in the mail. I mean, it's it's actually an interesting concept. Well, it's pretty wicked looking. There ain't no doubt about it's that. It's neat looking, isn't it? Yeah, see, I like this. I really like this. I don't want to this one here. No, I'll bet not. It's getting toasty now. Yeah, that thing, I'm surprised at that thing, actually. Well, it's certainly got a nice, it's got to have the weight to it. It does, yeah. And, uh, you should certainly dig in with that edge. Man. Yeah, so Trev, Trev's going after that big, he might, that thing's actually not that bad. Interesting concept. Yeah. Not as good as the bullet, Trev? Eh? Not as good as this one? Well, I'm still bouncing. Yeah, well, that, that piece of wood is going to do that to you, no matter what you're yeah, using. That's yeah, that's the stringy part. Man.
about as good? Well, again, I'm hitting the parts where it's not going to be that easy. No. Yeah. 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 And then what I do, Trev, is see how you, you reach, and what happens over time is you bang, bang, oh, yeah. and you smash this up. Yeah. So just take what's in front of you. Oh, yeah, I see what do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. So do the split, and then come over and work this way. Oh, okay. Instead of reaching, like you go like this, yeah. and it goes through and smashes the axe yeah. up. Yeah, or you got a ding. Yeah, no, no. yeah. So, so just work this way. That's okay. why I gave you the bamboo. Okay. It's tough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, this is uh this one's tough. There she goes. Friends, this piece is nuts. Yeah. But I feel like Not we should get it, so I go over and start manhandle it a little bit and put the bamboo or I got I forget what I got in my hands here, but it's a bullet, but I just want to get this apart, so I start whacking away at it here. The old wood bullets, it, it's, I, I'm very impressed with these. I, I really, I really am. This is the one I wanted to see. Yeah, see, that's not bad. That's lovely. So here's, here's what I call humility. Here's a man. He's got, he's longer in the tooth than yeah, I am. Let's just say that. He's older than I am. He's been swinging an axe longer than I have. Maybe not as much, but longer. And he's actually open to the suggestion of doing something differently at his age. He's a smart individual. He's not all, yes, Sonny, I've been doing this for, you know what I mean? Humility. Good on you, Trev. And he actually gets into it here. I think. I hope I caught it on film. He actually gets into it. It keeps it up. Oh, yeah. It'll bounce to the side, like. Drive right through it. Yeah. Yeah, here's, oh yeah, you can see that. That's not going anywhere. So we'll go this way, make it smaller. Go. Oh yeah, that's big knot, all right. Yeah. Well, we got when they get there. These the ones that we did to start with that were all piled up along front. I split them all by hand, but I used a wedge to start them. You did. And once I got it, once I got it split in half, then it, it, yeah, it once was okay. that's right, yeah. yeah. But uh, I usually get the outside like we were doing, Trev, on them big ones. Yeah. I don't try and get them in half. Yeah, just because, unless it's really nice wood like that, I would probably pop in half because it's, it's straight, see? See that? See that? But this big knot, you know, it'll probably go, but there's no point when you can just, you see? Just crank the edges off it. Just go around and then. A lot smaller. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I like about it. even with that, that four and a half I got. They're laying on the ground like that, the wood is so damn nice and so it splits so easy. It does. You, you just laying on the ground, you can tap them in half and split them again. Right? Yeah, isn't that nice when they're like yeah. that? Yeah, I don't have to stand them up all the time to split them. No, nope, that's right. Great big thing, Ted. Yeah, I'll try that sucker. So, friends, I got this in the mail and I like the concept. Uh, you'll never, that's pretty good, pretty good concept. And it does split. I tried it, it does split. But I think it, it probably has its limitations. But I'm kind of liking, liking it so far. Yeah, see? Yeah. There it goes. It actually doesn't do too bad. Actually, not yeah, bad when at all. It was bouncing off. There must have been something in there right away. That's a big nut. There. There's that knot. Yeah. I'm not going that way. That won't work. No. Easy feel. Take care of that. That's right. This isn't too bad, actually. So with all the firewood, you see, all the firewood you sell, you sell firewood. As I a, don't sell oh, firewood don't anymore. Oh, okay. No, nope. well, I thought you, thought it was, you said you did or something. Else. Years ago, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, years ago, I fed my family on firewood. Actually. Oh yeah. That was a rough racket. I bet. But I was younger and stronger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And just happy to be to kind of be out there, you know. Actually, this isn't a bad tool. Don't mind that at all. That's actually pretty good, partner. You done a good job with that. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a great concept. Nice welds. Guy knows how to weld. Very good. It will have certain limitations, but it's not bad at all. I like it for nice wood. But you've done a nice job here, Trev. You got your wood stacked. You see, me and Bearclaw were just talking about that, that. That's Barb's job. She does that. She does a good job. Oh, yeah, no. She's I bet she stacked a bit of wood in her time. She stacked a bit of wood. Yeah. When we were, lived in Peace River, we did all our wood was, we burnt wood. Stacked yeah. So, yeah. See, friends? So that, that's how you stack them corners. You see, look at Barb's work. She knows the pieces to use. Look at her, friends. Me and Bearclaw well, just talked about that. We just talked about that look in the at, video. Look at this. All the pieces. That's why we shank the sides off too, because they give you the square pieces. Yeah. So when we're splitting yeah. with those outside pieces, they work great for that. For the ends, yeah. For the ends. So that's another reason why we do that. Yeah. Well, this out here is all the, it's mostly all the sapwood. All the, the that's right. I, I took split most of the heartwood off its inside. We threw it inside. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, good. Because we're burning it already. It's already, I mean, these trees were, we just knocked these trees down. That's right. Ago, and we're already burning it. Yeah, the heartwood. Heart, heartwood. Yeah. yeah. See, friends, and there's another thing we talk about the heartwood and the furs. He's burning in a stove right now. We just knocked this wood down like four or five days or whatever, a week ago, whatever it is. Yeah, it's a week ago. So, you know, there's a method to the madness when you do this long enough. You, you, you have a system. And, and Barb's done a really nice job of stacking this wood. Barb, we're talking about you. Oh, geez, that was the birds making the racket. So, there we go. He's doing, uh, they're getting pretty cleaned up in here. And there's our, our steps that we shot by. Yeah, steps got to be fixed up yet. Yep, bump the steps on the way down. Look at that nice little cedar we saved out. Just deadly. Yeah. That guy turned out good. Yeah, the woodpeckers and all the birds still love it. Yeah, I'll bet you they're floating around in there, eh? Oh, yeah. Look at how nice he's done a job here, friends. You see, that's why they wanted the cedar. You see, he's got all this stuff hanging off it there. You see that? There's going to be more, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, imagine if it wasn't there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that's that's why we done that for him, friends. We cut out of the bucket because he wanted that there for his purchase and stuff, friends. So his bucking's a man of service. It can always come down later if it gets in the way. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, woodpeckers will start working on it, too. So I, I'm tickled with these bullets, friends. I am just tickled. And this thing here, it works nice, too. <laughs> that's actually a good design. I like it. It's just spring steel by the looks of it. He's done a nice job. Good job. Yeah, me too. Friends, 
Good morning. Um, we're just heading out to see Bobo. You know who Bobo is. It's my grandma. With the, with the whole thing going on in the world, we haven't been able to see her. But I'm just down at the post office. Do you guys know Jeff Schroeder? He works for August Haneke. He's in the videos. He's a climber. Quiet fella. Nice guy. He makes axes and he's getting good at it. He is. He's getting really good at it. Um, they just did a, I think it was a, a giveaway axe on August Haneke's channel. Cool thing to do. I'm getting the inclination that he's selling axes and he wants to have an axe business. I like this character. He's a tree guy. There's a connection right there, but there's more. I just like the dude, okay? So listen, this is what I'm telling you. Here's his ax. Oh yeah, it's a Killinger, boy. Uh, right down. Ooh, look at this. Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Friends, this looks real good. He's kept it black. I like it. He's good and square. Nice job. Well done, Jeffrey. <laughs> it's a dandy, buddy. We're going to see Bobo. I got to go. It's a freaking Connie. Schroeder, nice job. I stand behind that. I'm going to work this axe. I got to go. Friends, I love yous. Jeff Schroeder. Over now. Say hi. <laughs> There's Bobo. There she is. <laughs> I love it. She's doing awesome. 95. Yeah. <laughs> and there's. Life is good. There's Mama yeah. Bucking. Life is Isn't good. Isn't that amazing? One, yeah. two, three. Yeah. Bunch of crazies. Yeah.